hello you're welcome how to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here well, what we have here is follows what we have a times a times a you can write this as a raised to power 3. also here we can write this as 3 raised to power x or raised to power 3 then equals to 60 from here and this follows the law of indices when we have a raised to power m or raised to power n. It's the same thing as a raised to power m n. And this, this power multiplies. And we have 3 raised to power 3x equals to 60 on this side. The next step here, we take the log on both sides. Here we have log 3 raised to power 3x equals to log 60 on this side. Then here we apply the power of log n. Then we have log m raised to power p. This is same thing as p log m. And this here we have 3x log 3 equals to log 60 from here. And this next step we divide both sides by log 3. This divide this side by log 3. Also divide this side by log 3. Here we have log 3 cancelled each other. But this 3x equals to log 60 over log 3. Then also from here, we can express 60 as 3 times 20. Then what we have here becomes 3x equals to log 3 times 20 over log 3. That is, yeah, this follows when we have log a times b. This is same thing as log a plus log b. That is, what we have becomes 3x equals to log 3 plus log 20 over log 3. Then, next step here, we separate this into two fractions. We have 3 hex equals to log 3 over log 3 plus log 20 over log 3. That is here, log 3 cancel each other. We have 1. And what we have become 3 hex equals to 1 plus log 20 over log 3. That is here also, 20 can be expressed as 4 times 5. Then what we have becomes 3 hex equals to 1 plus log 4 times 5 over log 3 that is also this follows the law of logarithm i can write as 3x equals to 1 plus log 4 plus log 5 over log 3 that is here, we separate this into two fractions and we have 3x equals to 1 plus log 4 over log 3 plus log 5 over log 3. That is. Next step here, also 4 can be written as 2 times 2, that's 2 squared. And here we have 3x equals to 1 plus log 2 squared over log 3 plus log 5 over log 3. Then, here we apply the power of log 2 comes there and we have 3x equals to 1 plus 2 log 2 over log 3 plus 
log 5 over log 3. Here we apply change of base when we have log A over log B. Log B is same thing as log A to base B. That is what we have here becomes 3x equals to 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3. Then here we divide both side by 3. Divide this side by 3, also divide this side by 3. Here 3 cancel each other. And we have x equals to 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 3. That is, if all of x here we have 1 plus 2 log. 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 3. Then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem. That is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 3. That is, what we have here becomes 3 raised to power 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 3 times also 3 raised to power 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 3 also times 3 raised to power 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 3. Is it equals to 60 on this side? Then here, yeah, this follows when we have same base multiplying a raised to power m times a raised to power also power the same m times a raised to power m. This can be written as a raised to the power m plus m plus m plus 3m. Also here, we can write this as 3 raised to the power 3 times 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 3. This is equals to 60 on this side. Then here, this power multiplies. 3 here cancelled each other. And we have 3 raised to power 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3. This equals to 60 from here. Then, applying the law of indices here, when we have a raised to power m plus n, this same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power m. That is, what we have here becomes 3 raised to the power 1 times 3 raised to the power 2 log 2 base 3 times 3 raised to the power log 5 base 3. This is equals to 60 on this side. And here 3 raised to the power 1, that's 3 times. Here we reverse this 2 from power log. We have 3 raised to the power log 2 square base 3 times 3 raised to the power log 5 base 3. Is it equals to 60 on this side? That is, yeah, we have 3 times 3 raised to the power log 2 square, yeah, that's 4 base 3, times 3 raised to the power log 5 base 3. Is it equals to 60 on this side? That is, here we have from A raised to the power log B to base A, the same thing as B. At this here, we have 3 times 4, then times 5. Is it equals to 60 on this side? Then 3 times 4, <coughs> that's 12. And 12 times 5 give us 60, which is equals to 60 on this side. Left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, 
we conclude here that x equals to 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 3 satisfy this given problem thank you for watching don't forget this step subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell share this video give it a thumbs up and put your comment see you next lesson bye for now